what's up everyone we are back with uh, the continuation video on our seed sprouter kit that we got off of Amazon so um, here we have it here and then I have um, two mason jars of seed mixtures so this one is the lentils that I already had and then um, this one here is the uh, organic seed pack that actually came with the kit that I bought. Um, so, uh, so lentils and then uh, the Sprouts Organic Spring Salad. And so the first thing that it told us um, is to soak the seeds in water for eight to 10 hours. I think this is actually gonna be quite helpful because it does, it says, um, it helps the seeds to, to uh, uh, expand a little bit and that's probably going to be helpful because some of the seeds in here I don't know if you can see them or not but they're pretty small so um, I don't want them falling through the drain holes and I, I'm thinking some still might but we'll see how it goes um, all right so it says uh, empty the seeds into your sprouting tray rinse and drain thoroughly and then set your sprouter anywhere out of direct sunlight. Rinse and drain two to three times a day with cool water. Seeds will be ready to eat in roughly three to six days. Now that's for these. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put, I think I'll put this mixture in the bottom just because I don't want them falling through from the top into my lentils. So, what we're gonna do is, so here again, they've been soaking. Uh, they actually soaked for about 12 hours, roughly. And so I'm just going to pour them into the mix, into the uh, bowl here. Let me do this, see if you guys can see it. All right, so here we go. Sorry for the shaky camera, but you know. <laughs> All right, so we still have some down left in here. So I'll get something um, to get those out and then we'll continue. So be right back. All right, so I've gotten the majority of them out. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this piece of cardboard from the box that they came in to just kind of see if I can spread them evenly throughout it's weird this uh, this batch actually looks like like looks like bird seed <laughs> maybe it is all right so all right that's that and then what we do is we take the next layer and we set it on now if I lift the bottom layer off of here by the way let's do that real fast so we don't have a whole lot of water in there yet so we're good all right so the next layer sets on, so that's on there good. And then we're going to pour our lentils in here. Obviously these are a lot easier to work with. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll just spread them out. I can already tell you that I probably should not have done this many, but I wasn't sure how how many would fit in here. Um, this is a lot to, of lentils to put in here, and so they're gonna take up the space probably fairly quickly. All right, so next we'll put on um, the top lid, and then it says to rinse them, so I'm going to pause this and go grab, uh, we'll put some water in our mason jar again and uh, rinse them, so be right back. All right, so we have the seeds in there. Um, on the bottom, we have that um, organic spring salad mixture, and then on the top layer, we have our um, uh, lentils. So the bottom layer will mostly be for um, our sulcata tortoise, and then the top layer mostly for um, my uromastics. Uh, but uh, obviously, they, I think they can both have, have either. So 
I will double check that though just to make sure. So sorry, I needed a drink of coffee. Alright, so got the water, and here again I'm just gonna pour it in, and as you can see there, it's actually training through and and watering all of them. My table's not exactly level, is it? But anyways, so um that's I like that feature, so it kinda like almost like produces a rain effect down. Um into them so get the last little bit that's on there all right so now that we've got that um so on the box here let's just double check the box but it said to uh smoke smoke <laughs> must want some barbecue um soak a small amount of seeds overnight which we did that um stick the trays and place the shallow tray on the top. We already did that. All right, so we oh, stack the trays. Uh, slowly pour water through the shallow tray onto the seeds below. We did that. that. Was this drain the excess water from the base tray? So we're going to um, take these off. Wow, as you can see, we've got a lot of water there. So I'm going to drain that. Um, rinse and drain sprouting seeds twice a day all right cool so uh, make sure that you pour fresh water in here uh, twice a day and here again this is going to be in your house probably I uh, would recommend like on your kitchen counter or something like that maybe so that you've got access to um, to remember that they're there first of all uh, but you know it's for, for most people this isn't going to be for their for their reptiles um, it's going to be for their you know for their food for their sandwiches for their for burgers or salads whatever else they want to mix them with so uh, after two to seven days of sprouting seeds uh, we'll be ready to eat sprouting seeds can be stored in the refrigerator for three to four days so make sure you got some Tupperwares or um, you know another brand it's just the brand that everyone knows and comes to their mind but I actually have some um, some cheese containers that I bought sliced cheese uh, with, with resealable lids that's what I'm going to use to keep this to store these in so um, if they'll last that long because here again they'll eat them pretty fast but all right so that is the utilization of the seed sprouter so we will come back with another video once these have actually sprouted and let you know what we think um, one thing I'll tell you right off the bat so like I, like I told you I, I figured it would but if you'll notice there are some seeds down there there we go there are some little tiny seeds down in there so recommended that um, either you use larger seeds or just understand that you are going to lose a few seeds down in the bottom all right thanks so much for watching I hope that you have enjoyed this video and like I said we'll follow up with a uh, a quick video of of how they look once they actually start sprouting all right thanks so much and as always god bless and then just real quickly this is where mine will be sitting so i got it by the stove and there we go when life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess He's right there to guide you, unseen you're not.